India's first test centurion, Lala Amarnath, was born on September 11, 1911. He became the first player to score a century for the Indian national cricket team in test cricket with a century in his test debut. He served as the first cricket captain of independent India. In 1991, the Indian government presented him with the Padma Bhushan, a civilian honor. Given that contemporaries like the two Vijays, Merchant and Hajra, were much more prolific run machines, Amarnath never replicated his debut performance, and it's possible that his stats don't always accurately reflect his lofty status in Indian cricket. Amarnath's versatility as a bowler, his capacity for leadership, and his capacity to occasionally don the gloves of a wicketkeeper, however, solidify his place among India's early greats. He played in 24 test matches, amassing 878 runs at a 24.38 average, including his first century and four half-centuries. He made up for this, though, with his effective medium-pace bowling, which led to 45 wickets at 32.91. Nanak Amarnath Bharadwaj was born on September 11, 1911, and only later acquired the Punjabi honorific Lala. He is from Kapurthala, and when his mother passed away, he was moved to live with his grandfather in Lahore. According to British journalist Peter Oborn, Tawakal Majid, a member of the aristocratic Rana family of Lahore, was the one who first discovered Amarnath there. Amarnath was taken under the family's patronage and started playing for the club, which was one of Lahore's largest cricket clubs. Club cricket, though, was merely a stepping stone for a player of Amarnath's caliber. Frank Tarrant, an Australian who worked as the Maharaja of Patiala's cricket coach, soon took note of him. He gave Amarnath's employer his recommendation, and Amarnath soon began playing for the Maharaja's squad. Amarnath made his improbable debut in a test match against England in 1933 at the Bombay Gymkhana ground. He made an impression on everyone even though India lost the game by scoring the most in both of their innings. According to legend, after seeing Amarnath perform, a wealthy handed him 800 pounds sterling and another gave him a car. Amarnath experienced one of his career's lowest points in 1936 when he was expelled from India's tour of England due to disciplinary reasons. The Maharaj Kumar of Vizianagram, also referred to as Vizi, the team captain, has been suspected of orchestrating his departure. During one of the tour games, Vizi's friendship with Amarnath supposedly came to an end due to his apparent incompetence as captain. According to reports, Vizi ordered an ailing Amarnath to pad up during a game, preventing him from taking a break, and then sent a slew of other batters ahead of him. Just a few minutes before the game's end, Amarnath was finally sent out. Amarnath is alleged to have whispered in Punjabi as he entered the dressing room, I know what is transpiring. Major Jack Britton Jones, the team boss, soon informed Amarnath that he was being returned home. Amarnath was cleared of all allegations made by the manager and captain by a committee that was later formed to look into the incident. Lala Amarnath had quoted once, the most disappointing event was being sent back home before the test series began on the 1936 tour. You see, that was my prime year, and I know I'd have been a great success, both in batting and in bowling. I must also say that, during my test career, we had the best team in 1936, but the worst captain. Amarnath demonstrated during the first-class matches on India's 1947-48 tour of Australia that he would be the cornerstone of India's batting during test matches. He amassed 1,162 runs at an average of 58.1 throughout those tour games, including unbroken innings of 144, 171, and 228. When Amarnath entered the batting order, the side was struggling and three wickets down for no runs. The Australian team's captain at the time, Don Bradman, was so moved by the performance that he made the following comment, those who saw his innings, 228 not out, against Victoria rated among the best ever seen on the Melbourne cricket ground. Amarnath's purple patch, however, didn't carry over to the official tests for some reason, as he only managed 140 runs in five tests with a top score of 46. Amarnath claimed that it was the result of overbowling. Amarnath played his final test series at home in 1952 against Pakistan, 
which India won 2-1. Amarnath had a very adaptable mentality, both on and off the field. He effectively filled several posts after retiring. He oversaw the first Indian squad that toured Pakistan in 1954-1955, where India and Pakistan played to a scoreless draw. He also became chairman of India's selection committee in 1955. Amarnath was a skilled commentator as well, and some people liked him for his direct approach to commenting. Amarnath was revered as a living legend of Indian cricket throughout his later years. Amarnath, whose nickname Lala means lion, was also the most vocal player of his era. Long after his playing days were done, he continued to be brutally honest in his broadcasts and writings. He passed away on August 5, 2000 at his New Delhi residence. Mohinder and Surinder, two of his sons, both went on to play cricket for India at the highest level, and Rajinder, the third, played first-class cricket, 